Good morning, skiers and riders. Sugarloaf and Carabasset Valley time for your latest local forecast and trail conditions. Brought to you by Mountainside Real Estate. Find them on Main Street in the Village and find us online at WSKITV.com anytime on all your internet devices. And we're looking at mostly sunny skies for the day today. Temperatures will warm up as the morning goes on. We'll see summer temperatures 6 to 10, base temperatures 11 to 15. So still a day to bundle up out there as it will be cool in that northwest breeze calming down as well throughout the morning. So that shouldn't cause any issues. But stay tuned to the Mountain Report, and we'll keep you updated on what's happening outside. For Monday, snowstorm headed into our area, looking at a good 8 to 12 inches of snow, although it will be warm on the tail end of it, so it could mix with sleet, maybe a possible quick shower. At the end of the storm, we'll see gusty winds and those comfortable temperatures, so get out there, make the most of it. Uh, it'll be a snow day here on Monday. Tuesday, partly sunny skies, 19 will do it for your high, 5 for your low with partly sunny skies. Cloudy skies and a chance of some evening uh, snow. No showers and light snow on Wednesday with a high of 15 and a low of 6 and partly sunny skies for the day on Thursday with a high of 25. Sunday, January 16th, your trail report brought to you by Birchman Interiors. 52 trails of ski and ride on, 11 lifts getting you there, 50 trails on the groomers list, loose granular frozen con- and frozen granular conditions on the snow and we will see that race happening on narrow gauge today. Snubber gets going at 8 o'clock, Sawduster and Skidway at 8.30, the musculator as needed, and at 8.30 as well, Double Runner will get you up a little higher on the hill. 8 o'clock West Mountain will get you up from the West Mountain area. Superquan Skyline get going at 8.30 to get you to pretty much all the terrain that's open. 9 o'clock, the uppermost lift. Timberline is scheduled to run, winds and weather permitting. We'll keep you updated on that. Wiffle Tree and King Pine, those are the east side lifts. Nice, fast super quad on Wiffle Tree with some intermediate terrain and more expert terrain over on the King Pine area and snowmaking on sidewinder and lower competition hill that continued overnight last night we're looking at spur line upper tote road the boardwalk park and the stomping grounds park now open for those parks uh people and we're looking at hallback widowmaker choker ram down flume two hall widow uh, wiffle tree cruiser and slasher uh, over towards the east side of the mountain on west uh, over on the west side we got windrow and scoot as well as west mountain and all the trails down low and central mountain trails like upper narrow gauge tote road king's landing hay burner the east side of skidder haywire spillway and sluice not too much traffic on the trails on saturday so uh the grooming uh they may not have gotten to everything but it doesn't mean it's not in uh, good shape. Current conditions at the Outdoor Center. If you want to get your body moving down there, they've got some cross-country skiing available as well as ice skating and snowshoeing and fat tire bike rentals. They've got uh, rentals for all of that stuff as well, so be sure to check that out just one mile south of the Sugarloaf Access Road, and you can use your day ticket down there as well uh, for the Alpine Exchange Program. Uh, Carabasset Valley Fat Bike Trails are in great shape with the new snow coming in. Uh, looking for volunteers to snowshoe the single track as well as shovel the bridges right down to the wood. And the Anti-Gravity Complex, a great place for indoor activities as well as the Sugarloaf Sports and Fitness Center. Get a workout in or just relax or grab a bite to eat. Check us out. We're live this morning, 7.30 to 9 a.m. every single Saturday and Sunday. Had a great watch and win last night, and we'll continue those live shows next weekend as well. So be sure to tune in. You can find us on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. If you want to know exactly what's happening at the base of the mountain in real time, check out our live quad cam shot and our YouTube channel for all of our latest local content.